Hey, Dr. Murray at Uncivilized Vitality. This video is uh, the uncivilized cleanse. You hear about cleansing and detoxifying diets all the time. This would fall under um, uncivilized nourishment. Uh, number two, eat on purpose. Okay, so eat on purpose. So you're going to take six days or basically one week and you're going to limit yourself to uh, only a six to eight hour eating window. Uh, you can eat nonstop through the eight hours and divide this up in two meals. But during the eight hours, uh, you are only allowed to eat the foods that are on this board. They're going to cause, uh, they're going to give you a cleansing effect. Uh, that combined with the <clears throat> eating window will in, in, uh, induce some of the intermittent fasting benefits as well. But you do this for a week. Um, you might lose a little weight. Uh, you probably will lose some weight. Uh, but at the very least, you'll give your system a chance to, to get caught up with its uh, immune functions and um, restorative functions and just basically take a break um, on your colon and such. So the foods weren't chosen at random. I'm not going to go into the background on them. Obviously consult, I got to say the legal things to consult your physician before you do this, but uh, this should be good for anyone. A couple caveats as we go through. So your protein and fat sources, you're going to, you're going to um, prejudice this system toward that, but you're also going to want some fiber uh, as well. So we're going to get that in there and then we'll talk about the, the liquid you can have. You're going to aim to get, depending on body size, between a, a liter and a half to two and a half liters of uh, liquid a day of water, depending on the source. So uh, don't worry about the serving sizes or the amounts. Try to, over the six days, limit yourself to eating slowly uh, and until you're full. Okay? And some of these foods will fill you up quicker. Proteins and fat sources. Uh, everything on here is, is um, free. So you can have uh, bone broth, beef, lamb, goat, bison, venison, other game, uh, squirrels and rabbits, depending on where you're at. Uh, you'll notice there are no fowl or birds on here. They're, they're, they're too lean for this cleanse, so you can't get out with just the skinless chicken breast. That's not going to cut it. So uh, after a game, then you can try pate. That's, uh, that's liver. In case you can't stomach liver, you can just kind of grind it up and maybe dip it on um, with some celery or just eat it by the spoonful of pate. Uh, caviar is also, how do you spell caviar, caviar, question mark. All right, so uh, caviar is also good, but I'm just not sure of the spelling offhand. That's one of those tricky French words. Uh, salmon, sardines, um, limited to just salmon and sardines. There are other fish, white fish, uh, no crustaceans. This is a cleanse. It's a limited eating uh, system. Uh, egg yolks, no whites, uh, butter cod liver oil, or some olive oil. So you limit yourself to these to build your meals around. Now you're going to supplement that with, um, there are some other sources. You can have almonds, pistachio, macadamia, or walnuts. So those would be the nuts you're allowed. Watch the serving sizes on those. Don't make an entire meal out of macadamia nuts. Um, I should say that too. This is a cleanse that is self-regulating. If you overeat some of these fibrous foods, It'll take care of itself the next day. So for six days, you're going to watch how many of these you eat. Uh, berries of any type are okay. Raspberries, blueberries, um, strawberries, uh, I'm not a fan of, but you could throw those in. Avocados, uh, pickles, sauerkraut, kimchi, which is basically uh, Korean spicy pickled cabbage. Uh, celery, spinach, squashes, prunes, and then coconut, as long as you don't have any uh, allergy issues, you can eat uh, coconut flesh. So the white part of coconut, dried coconut flakes, make sure they're unsweetened. And then for your fluid intake, same caveat with uh, coconut milk, although it's coconut water, fresh, unpurified, non-thickened uh, coconut water is fine as a beverage. Obviously, uh, water is going to be your main go-to. You might want to add some salt uh, to your water. We talked about electrolytes in another video. And as you're doing the cleanse, it's important to get enough salt. And adding that right to your water is the best way to do that. Uh, also over here with the, the egg yolks and the, the venison or the beef or the bone broth, feel free to salt these to taste and then a little bit more. Make sure you get enough salt. Uh, if water's not doing it for you, green tea, black coffee, and some herbal teas Herbal teas are also uh, fine as beverages, as long as you're getting that fluid in. So keep your eating window between six to eight hours. Uh, you're fasting the rest of the time. Do this for six days in a row. You're going to notice some changes in your uh, energy, uh, your sleep patterns uh, for the better, and your bowel movements as you clean out and give yourself uh, a break. Uh, do the uncivilized cleanse at least four times a year. 
uh, followed by a, a three to five day water only fast uh, to help kind of uh, reset my immune system and stay as happy and healthy uh, as I can. So this is the Uncivilized Cleanse. If you like that, give it a try. All the um, warnings beforehand with checking. And if you have conditions like uh, diabetes or um, said it Wilfred Brimley style, uh, if you have any conditions that would preclude this, make sure you check with a doctor or uh, contact my clinic and you can talk to our nutritionist here and get some supervision. So try the Uncivilized Cleanse and then come back and make some comments and let me know what you think. And then um, that's it.